Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would talk about under eye masks that really work. In fact, eye masks that really work because the best ones work all around the eyes. I've been really honest and open on my YouTube channel and my Instagram about how I suffer with my under eyes. They are puffy and then they go down and then they're puffy and then they go down. So they're sort of crepey and puffy at the same time. And in fact, I'm going to test something called Tixel. I went to see an ocular plastic surgeon um, the other day and I'm going to test something called Tixel, which is supposed to firm this under eye area and lift it slightly. Um, and I, of course, will be videoing it. But in the meantime, what works around this delicate eye area? And I want to talk about not sheet masks as in the whole face, but ones that are specifically formulated for the eye area. As I said, I suffer from both puffiness and creepiness. Oh joy. So I have tested everything and I want to talk you through the history of eye masks and what to look out for in terms of active eye ingredients. And I want to start with this iconic little number. I remember when sheet masks first came out, SK2 were pretty much the first company to create one. And this is SK2 Signs Eye Mask and you will see this on pretty much every celebrity under the sun at the upcoming Met Gala, uh, the previous Oscars. I mean, essentially, makeup artists like Mary Greenwell will in fact create a whole makeup and use this under the eye and then when the little droplets fall on it they sort of take it off afterwards the eye is super hydrated underneath and then they do the rest of the makeup it's really really clever and there was a time when sk2 and i think probably lauder had the only eye masks on the market and they are super expensive super high-end but they work they're essentially a little cloth soaked in hyaluronic acid and humectants like glycerin and what they do is they hyperhydrate the area under the eye to temporary plump it. They use something called osmosis. Do you remember osmosis from your GCSE biology classes? Osmosis is a simple biochemical fact that if you have a permeable membrane, in this case the skin, uh, but it works with plant leaves for example um, and, and some vegetable products as well. If you have an area of fluid on both sides the water will pass through from the least concentrated to the more concentrated. So the idea is it wants to balance out the percentage of water here against the percentage of water here. And what happens when you put an eye mask on your skin is the water is forced into the skin. The hyaluronic acid, the humectants are forced into the skin because what your skin wants to do is create a balance, a synergy between the, the fluid levels in the skin and the fluid levels outside. Now what happens is if you live in a really humid environment or if you go on holiday to a really humid environment, you'll notice that your skin becomes juicy and plump. If you go on a plane or you live somewhere like the UK, you live somewhere like New York, maybe where most of the year it's quite cold and it's not humid at all, you'll notice your skin will become dry and tight. It's the simple act of osmosis or what it's called in your skin, transepidermal water loss. This reverses transepidermal water loss. It forces fluid into the skin to plump up these lines temporarily. I once did a piece on TV where we measured the lines under a woman's skin, applied an eye mask, I think we applied the Skin Iceland one, and we saw a reduction in 30% in 20 minutes. It's a temporary reduction but they really work and that worked even in a super dry TV studio, a super dehydrated air of a TV studio. So that was the original, they're still amazing, but they're super Let's see what's else on the market. Um, Elemis Pro Collagen is another absolute classic. I have used these for years on so many flights. They become, they come like this. They're on a little plastic insert. You open them up. You've got two patches that you peel off of their plastic backing. They're shaped to go here under the eye. 20 minutes, they work. I shall let you into a sneaky little secret. If you keep the plastic backing on and you put these under your eyes, you can sleep in these. They will eventually dehydrate, but this is what I do on a plane. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's a secret between you and I, right? If you have a plastic backed eye, mark, eye, eye patch, and instead of taking the plastic off, you keep the plastic on, okay, they're not flexible. They don't really sit comfortably on the skin. But what it will do is it means that it won't dry out 
stick on your silk eye mask on the top this one is from silk sleep and essentially what it will do is hydrate you for a much longer period of time probably not an eight hour flight they will be slightly dehydrated and fall off your skin at the end of it but they'll certainly last a lot longer than the say half an hour that they're designed to work for um i think if you're like me and you wake up with sleep lines down your face or dehydrated skin at the end of a long journey they're well worth combining and being naughty and slightly using off label slightly misusing anyway even in the normal way these will plump your skin in 20 30 minutes you see because i've been a daytime tv presenter for so long and i wake up with crepey and puffy eyes they also cool the eye as well so if they go under here they'll cool the eye if they go out here they'll hydrate the eye they i mean they work they really do even if it's temporarily um these are the miriam zamani ones which are the ones you'll see lots of celebrities in now these work brilliantly because they're impregnated gel which means i think you can reuse them but you can certainly use them more than once they are really really clever but again they're quite expensive they would work brilliantly on a long-haul flight so there and there now if you're looking for active ingredients in any mask at any price, yes, you can spend a fortune and have gold particles and platinum particles and diamond particles. You can even have retinols, you can have niacinamides, you can have brightening peptides. But the problem is you use a mask infrequently, once a week. Why would you want to use those active ingredients so infrequently? You need to use retinols, vitamin C, peptides every single day to get an effect. So instead, look for humectants. Look for hyaluronic acid, glycerin, ceramides, fatty acids. That's what your skin needs to hydrate and stay plump. And really, that's the only short-term effect you're going to get from these masks. Boy, is it an effect though. Oh my goodness, they can plump super fine lines and dehydrated skin like that. I want to introduce you to a company that you might not have heard of but that I'm super impressed by and that's Patchology. Now Patchology have two sets of eye masks. They have restoring night eye gels and they have rejuvenating eye gels and it's the same delivery system but with different active ingredients. Yes of course they're both loaded with hyaluronic acid that's the least you'd expect. They come in little tubs like this where they are sealed in and then inside, and I love the fact that they're all jellyfied, you get these. I need to pick up one at a time and not loads. Oh, they stick together. It's fun though. You get these little jelly masks. They are absolutely genius. You couldn't actually seal them on and wear them on overnight because they are, look at that, super slippery. They are individual use masks, but you get a little tub of them. Remember to put the lid back on, they will dehydrate. Oh my God, I love that feeling. As far as I can tell, unscented as well. So let's go through them. Patchology Flash Patch, I love that name. Let me just give you the active ingredients in them. They are, I've tested them both, they're really good. So the Restoring Night Eye Gels contain retinol peptides, and arnica. In other words, they are attempting to take down crepiness, fine lines, uh, uh, the darkness under the eyes, and they're designed to be worn fairly often, at minimum once a week. Again, you see, I think retinol needs to be applied every single night, but these are designed to be worn for 20 minutes before you go to bed. So they're the restoring night eye gels, but in the morning, in the same delivery system, they've got rejuvenating eye gels, and they have caffeine, hydrolyzed collagen and hyaluronic acid in. Trust me, that's got hyaluronic acid in as well. Um, but these are designed to take puffiness out of your eyes. So this is what I would use first thing in the morning before filming. And that's what I'd use the night before filming. They have really, really lovely products and relatively reasonably priced. I love that eventually there is a democratization in beauty that high-end ingredients and technologies eventually trigger down to the high street. This is sort of middle of the line. Uh, these are the ones I've used and the reason I like this is because I'm going to take them out and I'm going to show you how they work. So, so far we've got everything under the eye but nothing if you're crepey over the eye. Eye zone rich care patch and the reason that these are interesting 
and again you need to keep them properly sealed is because so these go over and under the eye like this so you hydrate the crepey top lid and under the eye and that's really clever but I still think it's very optimistic of skincare companies to think that we've just got a few fine lines or crepiness or puffiness here and here what about the whole area what about the whole eye area like why not make an eye treatment mask that's that big really I found one <laughs> You'll not be surprised to hear it's Nip Fab. I talk about Nip Fab a lot. Nip Fab is the baby sister brand of Rodeal, and I feel that you get a lot of the technology that's available in Rodeal, but a fraction of the price. This is Nip Fab Fixes No Needle Fix Eye Mask 20 Minutes. Forget the no needle thing. No skincare will ever be the equivalent of an injectable stop saying it is but what it is is it's a brilliant really large supermodel size eye mask that covers the entire area loaded with hyaluronic acid and humectants really good value for money and i want to mention one final company which i think is really interesting and it's been around a little while but not many people speak about it and this is a company called realign now realign have a classic bubble of hyaluronic acid dry mask that you press the bubble the hyaluronic acid goes into the mask and then you put it around a classic sort of under eye one but this is much more interesting now I hate the name of this product and I do have a problem with my smile lines being called crow's feet it's just so ugly and I quite like my smile lines and also their movable lines i.e. these are not going to disappear with a mask but the lines that are left afterwards will lift and soften temporarily with a mask. But this is Realign Crow's Feet Mask. And what's interesting about these, and I tested these, well, I've tested these over a number of days now here, is they have absolutely zero active ingredients. What they are, and I'm going to peel one off and show it to you here, is they are simply a, a piece of sticky the only other way I can describe them is plastic so I'm going to put them on back of my hand there and show you can you see it there and they are super sticky I mean watch my skin come up I mean actually that's got all my makeup on because I blend my makeup on the back of my hair before I put on my face they they're super sticky when they go under your eyes they really do adhere and they will adhere through thick and thin in fact this morning I had to answer the door with them on and I think my postman probably thought what on earth has happened to that woman technically they're see-through on the skin but you can actually see them now here no active ingredients at all they're not delivering anything all they're doing is occluding your skin that means that you stop any fluid leaving the surface of your skin now these you can put on a long-haul flight and your skin will not dehydrate for the entire length of that flight you'll look like a freak in them but you know charlotte tilbury goes around with her lovely brilliant dry mask doesn't she she doesn't care you could pet, put these under here and you will end up with beautiful plump eyes when you get off the plane because they will simply stop trans epidermal water loss no fluid can escape from that that skin is completely and utterly occluded it's an occluded plastic film now here's the problem with them now that's got all my makeup on so you can see it slightly more clearly now you've got to be careful where you put them they're just not large enough so they are designed to go here like that on the outer edges but i need a bigger one so i would line up two or three probably overlap them or it'll be fine be careful if you've got slightly crepey skin like i have because you will end up with an outer edge line but it softens but i would probably line up two or three around my eyes pop these on and stick them on a long haul flight in the meantime they work I peeled them off this morning the skin underneath was super hydrated I left them on for probably about an hour you could definitely sleep in them overnight no active ingredients at all all they're doing is stopping any water from evaporating from the surface of your skin and shh, if you're a Real Housewives fan I think it was Real Housewives of Sydney there was one of the Royal Housewives in Australia that created a range called Wrinkle Schminkle, 
which purely was a medical grade silicon that you slept in overnight. I think she had one here for those lines you get when you sleep, when you get older. One here, I think they had a forehead line. No active ingredients at all, purely medical grade silicon. So what you could also do is go to a chemist, buy yourself a sheet of medical grade silicon, which is used for healing scars because they put it onto scars and then what it does is it flattens um, bumpy scars and lessens the red and purple effect of scars. And it does that purely by locking moisture into the skin. No active ingredients at all. You could technically cut them to fit and stick that over the top and it'll keep it in place. That's the problem with silicon, is it won't actually stick to the skin. This is super, super, super sticky. Look, that will stick to your skin. So there you go. That's my take on eye masks that work. Thank heavens you don't have to spend a fortune anymore to get the active ingredients you need into your skin. Best budget buy, without a doubt, Nip Fab. Best high-end buy, obviously, SK2 signs. But you can choose one to fit your budget. You can also find them that you can stick on your skin with no active ingredients in that will simply hydrate your skin while you sleep. By the way, these are only designed to go on for an hour, but I don't see anything wrong with keeping them on overnight or on a six hour plane journey or an eight hour plane journey behind this. Right, in the meantime. <laughs> what do you think? Basically. I do sleep in this on a plane. I really don't care. I take my makeup off, I stick my little patches on, I pull it down, and good night. <laughs> I really don't care what I look like when I'm on a plane. I care only what I look like when I land. That's my take on eye masks that work. Have you tried any? Do you like any? Please tell me if you can find any even cheaper than the Nip Fab ones, because as far as I can see, I can't find anything that is that large and that effective and any cheaper. And look out for Patchology. I'm seriously impressed by that brand. They've also got lots of sheet masks. I tell you what I will do. I'll do masks for unusual parts of the body because I've discovered hand masks, I've discovered body masks, I've discovered feet masks. And I think, providing they deliver the right active ingredient, they can work too. I should take this off, shouldn't I? It's ruining my new haircut. Oh, and by the way, if you've been looking at this thinking, what's wrong with my, her brows? I had them microbladed, which I've also videoed for you, obviously, but only on Tuesday, and they're in that scabby, not very attractive phase, so I've put a little bit of concealer in them to try and kind of prevent you from looking at me going, oh, what is wrong with her? There's nothing wrong with me. You will see the before and after in due course. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Let me know if you've tried any eye masks that you particularly love. And I will see you next week, probably. Actually, why don't I do masks that work on other parts of your body? Because the weather's becoming really good now. And who doesn't want an exfoliating foot mask, right? Or a hydrating hand mask. We're beginning to get bits of our bodies out that have been snuggled up for winter and masks work really quickly. There are also tanning masks as well. I'll see you soon.